Hello YouTube people, let's talk about some big G-Shocks today. I'll go straight into conclusions, I'll be completely honest with you. I don't know why I bought them. I just got 60% off. How can you refuse buying something with 60% off of a retail price? I thought I just gonna make videos about them. But time is going by and I just don't know what to say about these big G-Shocks. Let me show you closer what I'm talking about. Is this golden big G-Shock? And this not so good, not golden G-Shock. Yeah, so let's talk about these two G-Shocks. It's very simple. Let me tell you what, I'll go straight into conclusions this time. Where I gonna rate these watches on my website thomaswatchreviews.com Where I gonna place them on my tier list. And you're gonna be surprised. I'm not putting them into no tier. I'm putting them into not bad. You know why? Because after all, if you don't like them, you can just smash them into the wall. And you know what? Nothing would happen. You got to respect that. You got to respect this durability of a G-Shock. The engineering that goes behind that is really wonderful. I have already tested one G-Shock to the limits and beyond what it can survive through. Check the, the link in the description. You will see the durability testing that I did with that square 5600 BB G-Shock, which is the coolest G-Shock in my opinion. These ones, as you can see, they are not for everyone. You have to have specific taste to enjoy this kind of look for these G-Shocks. But there are actually people who actually like this kind of a look. So, no complaints there. Time is easy to see. Very durable, very reliable. There is no dust under the glass. I mean, technically, they're very good watches. They're gonna last you a lifetime. Just change the battery and they're good to go for the next who knows how many years. They're wonderful watches. It's just the design is not for everyone. And speaking about the functions, <sighs> sorry, I can't continue like this. <laughs> yeah, and speaking about the functions, uh, they do have several functions like wall timer, uh, stopwatch, uh, timer function, and alarm. But you see, these are old style G-Shocks, and you can't. They don't have one very necessary function for this digital analog watch. Uh, I can't just move hands out of the way if they're blocking the view of, of the LCD screen. Let me show you example. Let me get a little bit closer. Let me zoom in into my golden chains. Here, look. Right now it's all fine because those hands are not blocking the display. But like, for example, this newer version G-Shock has this function where I can press light button and menu button, light, menu, and these hands just move out of the way, just like that. So in case you really need to see the screen, you can move those hands out of the way. But with these two G-Shocks, they are older ones, they don't have such function yet. And that's a, a little bit problem, you know, it's a compromise, because there will be a lot of times, sorry, no, sorry, I can't put there because my cat will take the chains. So there will be a lot of times where these hands gonna be just in a way and you won't be able to use any of those functions. So the way I see these G-Shocks, they are just analog watches that have day and date function as well. So yeah, it's like just a simple analog watch that has day and date function. And these, you know, stopwatch, timer, alarm, uh, world timer functions, they're just secondary, like you don't care about them. You definitely don't care about those functions buying watches like these. All you care about is the looks, how these watches look like. And I mean, it's, it's not for everyone. Size is also not for everyone. But speaking about the size, I saw how young people wear these watches. It's These watches are kind of a little bit more for the younger audience, I believe. And the way they are wearing these G-Shocks, they're actually wearing them loose. Let me show you. Let me loosen it. 
it up a little bit like those watches are completely dangling around the joint itself like hold on I'll loosen up this one as well it's like like this completely on on the joint itself and it's, it's horrible I can't even you know twist my my hand fully <laughs> It, it digs into my palm and such, and it's, it's not, not comfortable. But that's how young audience wear watches right now. So <laughs> wearing it like this, the watch doesn't look that big. <laughs> doesn't look too big. It still looks big, though. So anyway, I don't even know what to say about these G-Shocks. I just wanted to show you some kind of comedy sketch. <laughs> to say. Yeah, anyway. They, yeah, good watches. They go into not bad. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.